Hello guys, my name is PK Halford, and welcome to the first episode of what will hopefully be many in a Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke Challenge. I've, uh, you know, been having some technical difficulties with recording this morning, but I think I've got them all finally ironed out, we're good to go, and I'm getting back into the Let's Play game, because let's face it, if there's one more thing that the internet needs, it's another lame white motherfucker playing some video games for you guys. So let's do this. Okay, so for those of you who are unfamiliar with the concept of a Nuzlocke challenge, it's basically Pokemon on steroids. There are several additional rules that uh, players impose on themselves in order to make the game much more challenging. The two biggest rules being, the first Pokémon that you encounter in any area, that is the only one that you're allowed to catch, or even attempt to catch. Uh, if you knock it out during battle, that's it. Uh, you've fucked up your opportunity, you can't catch any more Pokémon in that area. Um, forces you to think outside the box, use Pokémon that a lot of people wouldn't normally use. Um, I'm going to be instituting the rule that I'm not gonna catch duplicates, which will save me from having, you know, a team of five or six Pidgeys, because they're everywhere. Uh, second rule, and this is where the difficulty really ramps up, if any of your Pokémon faint, they are considered dead and you have to release them. Uh, you can't use them at all after that. They're, you know, forever banished from the team. So it forces you to play much more conservatively, carefully, and try to plan out accordingly for that. So I'm sure that is going to be the source of much frustration and despair for myself, and hopefully that, you know, is where your amusement will come from during this series. So we're gonna get a lot of this introductory bullshit out of the way for this episode. You know, I apologize, but there's really nothing much I can do to skip through this. But, uh... Once we're able to get out into the world and start actually catching Pokémon is when the challenge will begin in earnest. Alright, so... We have our three Pokémon that we can choose from. Now, because the Nuzlocke challenge is all about, you know, having to use Pokémon that you're not, you know, totally familiar with, I figure it wouldn't be fair for me to just pick one of the three starters, because that way, you know, I could pick Bulbasaur and have a type advantage over, you know, the first three gyms. So I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to leave it entirely up to fate, and it is in the hands of the almighty 12-sided die. I've got one of these suckers right here in my hand, and I'm gonna give it a roll. If I get 1 through 4, we'll take Bulbasaur. 5 through 8 will give us Squirtle, and 9 to 12, Charmander. So, here we go. Oh, fucking try not to roll it off of the table, Halford, you fucking dumbass. And we've got number 11, which means we're going with my personal favorite out of the three, Charmander. That means we're going to have a hell of a time beating the first couple of gyms, so that'll be interesting, or at the very least, a hell of a lot of grinding and levels. Okay. Yeah, we got us a Charmander. Do we want to give it a nickname? Of course, because as we all know, if you nickname something, you get more attached to it. Which, you know, will, I'm sure, make me even more distressed when they eventually kick the bucket. So I am going with... My typical nickname for any time I have Charmander, which is John Flambeau. Yes, I can see that this Charmander is female, but I don't particularly care. My love of a terrible Rambo reference supersedes any, you know, gender labels that, you know, may be perceived. 
Okay, so Buttsax got himself a Squirtle, meaning he can kick my ass at will, but let's get this first fight out of the way, and hopefully not die already, because that would be embarrassing. Getting knocked out on the very first episode of this show. Okay. Oh, Professor Oak, I, I know how to Pokemon battle. I've been doing this shit on and off for almost 20 years. Because I'm so cool. Alright. Scratch the shit out of him, Flambo. Okay. Everything's going good. Oh, oh! Jesus, Squirtle. Come your tits. And then die. Alright, well, first battle down. Free level. Nothing wrong with that. Ooh, look at them stats. Yeah. Yeah, Flambo. Alright. Okay, so thankfully we didn't get our ass whooped in the first ever fight. That would be absolutely embarrassing. <clears throat> And we'd have to start the whole thing over, which would be no good. Okay, so, we're gonna go and heal up. And then we're off to Viridian City, where we have to do some more just basic introductory bullshit. But, uh, we're one step closer to being able to get this challenge underway. What do you want? I copied what it said on one of those trainer tip signs. Oh, you mean those things that I avoid at every turn because the gameplay hasn't changed in 20 years. Press start to open. Thank you. Because I would have never been able to figure out that start opens the menu. Okay, here we go. Route one. So obviously, anything we encounter now, it's not gonna fall under that rule of, you know, You've got, to ca I, you've got to catch the first thing you see, because we don't have Pokeballs to catch anything right now. And that would just be screwing ourselves over even further than we already will be with these Nuzlocke rules. Okay, so we are on our way, collecting us some free experience points before we have to catch anything. Kind of hoping for a Pidgey, because, you know... It's going to be overall much useful than any of these shitty purple rats. stuff on fire now. Outstanding. Okay, so we got our Pokemon healed up. Now we just pop in here to the Pokemart. Hey, you came from Pallet Town. You know Professor Oak, right? Jeez. People assuming shit. Just because there's, like, four people in that town, you automatically assume I know everybody. And now you want me to take this parcel to him, too? Like, what kind of errand boy do you think my... Yeah, what kind of... What kind of fucking errand boy do you take me for? Okay, so we've got the parcel for Professor Oak, all that unnecessary shit. Now we can go back to Pallet Town, and he'll give us our first Pokeballs. Now we can really get this shit on the road. First, I'm gonna get a free potion from this sucker right here. Yeah! 
free shit is always the best shit. Nothing but rats so far. Hopefully our luck will turn around as soon as we get back to Pallet Town. Okay, here's your shit, old man. Now, give me Pokeballs. The Pokedex. Recording data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Which, I mean, even by today's standards, like, wow, game's really dating itself here. I'm surprised they haven't made, like, the Pokedex, like, an iPhone app in later games, where you just have a smartphone instead of lugging this big red piece of shit around. Okay, Pokeballs. Cool, now we can start catching shit. Da, da, da. Yes, yes, your failed dreams that you're living vicariously through the younger generation. Just, oh, let me go, old man, come on. Okay, so we finally got us some Pokeballs, so now the real Nuzlocke challenge can begin. Whatever we run into from now on, we must catch. So let's see, bird or rat, here it comes. One or the other, and it's Pidgey! Outstanding. Oh, it's a weak-ass Pidgey. Let's hope I don't one-hit KO this rat bastard. Oh, no! Oh, Flambo. Shit. Ugh. Well, there you go. It's a good omen of things to come. Knock out the first Pokemon that we can catch. Well, now I can't even catch anything on Route 1. Lovely. Lovely. I mean, you know, it was a level 2 Pidgey, but, you know, you want to have shit in your party. Oh, good. Another Pidgey to remind me of my recent failure. See, why couldn't... <sighs> Why couldn't you have shown up and taken the critical hit like a champ like that, you rat bastard? Okay. Well, it's just you and me for now, Flambeau.